everyone has influences from one corner or another. I can't even imagine what it would be like to try to compose music when you'd never heard anything before. Sometimes you feel like it's hard to escape your influences because there's so much around you. Um, you wonder, and I've done this many times, um, is what I'm writing all that different than what I've heard before? How original is it really? But when we came out to Oregon, it was a whole change of attitude on my part and a change of pace. I just wanted to get down more to the grassroots feel of things. I wanted to um, try to become more in harmony with nature, which may sound a little like a cliche. Even after all these years, I can still have this eureka experience of, of writing something, struggling to come up with an idea. Something hits, oh, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. There are several composers whose names come to mind who uh, were well known for painting musical portraits of people. For example, you're sitting there, I could take a piece of music paper and paint a picture of you in notes rather than paints on a canvas. How do you translate what you see into something that is more or less an abstract connection of notes or concoction of notes that you hope will convey that same image back to the person listening to it? If you allow yourself to be moved by what you see, then you uh, are hopefully going to have quite a variety of, um, of expressions of, of what that is. You certainly don't want to do the same thing over and over again.